Well, I don't know what number I am in the Lifetime Achievement Awards of the ICS, but I'm sure there are a few, few predecessors who are probably have achieved more than I have, I don't know. Um, but of course, I feel deeply honored and privileged to have been the recipient of the 2017 Lifetime Award by the ICS. And uh, I, I suppose part of it is because my time with ICS spans back 40 years now. So I first attended the meeting in Portoroz, which was then Yugoslavia, in 1977. And I was a very young research fellow at that time, and it was my first international meeting. And I was incredibly proud to have both a poster and a podium presentation. And because I was such a junior person, I suppose, my podium presentation was the last one on the last day of the meeting, six o'clock on a Saturday evening in a sunny country by the beach. So of course anyone with any sense had gone to the beach or the bar and there was no one to ask questions, just the chairman and myself in the auditorium. And that was my first exposure to international science. But I was in awe of the people that I met there. They were so clever and the multidisciplinary aim of the group was to improve the lives of men, women and children throughout the world within continents and that's a very laudable aim. But of course I suppose this award was not just given to me because of my success as a member of ICS but also my own personal achievements and uh, I hope I've achieved quite a lot in terms of clinical practice, education and research but perhaps what I'm most proud of and what I regard myself as being most successful in is enabling others to achieve a potential that would have been unattainable if I hadn't helped them. And so to that end, I've trained eight subspecialty trainees in urogynecology and almost 50 clinical research fellows and nurses. And they are all now promoting urogynecology to a high standard throughout the world. And that assures me that anywhere I go, I'll always have friends and family around me. And of course, much of this is due to my own personal family and my team of Eurodynamos at King's, to whom I'm also very grateful. So it means a lot, the award.